Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful doll's house. It belonged to two dolls called Lucinda and Jane. One morning they went out for a drive in a doll's perambulator. There was no one left in the nursery and all was very quiet. On Tom Thumb, there's no one about. Let's go and see what we can find. There's no one at home. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> You try some of the fish. Oh. I'll deal with you, 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 you ham. It's no good. You can't eat it. No, it's not for eating. Let's smash it all up. Oh, oh yes. Let's. It's all a trick. It won't break. Let's burn it on the fire. Mm. <laughs> oh. It won't burn. Uh, 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 there's no salt up here. While Tom Thumb was up the chimney, Hunker Munker had another disappointment. set to work to do all the mischief they could.
What a sight met the eyes of Jane and Lucinda. Nurse, what has happened? Oh, it must be mice. I shall get a doll dressed as a policeman. I will set a mouse trap. And that should keep them out of the doll's house. The bird cage was rescued from behind the coal box, but Hunker Munker had got the cradle and some of Lucinda's clothes. Tom Thumb paid for everything he broke. He found a crooked sixpence under the hearth rug. And on Christmas Eve, he and Hunker Munker stuffed it into one of the stockings of Lucinda and Jane. And very early every morning, before anybody is awake, Hunker Munker comes with her broom and dustpan to sweep the dolly's house. 